What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today I'm working on the M4, the F82. And if you guys are unaware, I did a aftermarket seat and roll cage in the car. Let me show you. So all right here, we got the Sparco Evo uh, seat in here. And then I have the Studio RSR cage in the back, all bolted in. Um, I'm running Sparco, the aluminum mount, VAC Motorsport seat mount brackets right down there. Running the regular three-point harness at the moment but i want to run my schroth harnesses on this thing with the anti-sub and the side belts and all that so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pull the seat out and i'll kind of show you the setup that i'm running so yeah this is kind of how it all looks it, it works great this is super super solid um, i'm not running a slider at all i'm just going straight to the bracket i don't want to run a slider because well first off no one else really drives my car so that's one thing but otherwise you just get a super super solid mount i also want to feel super secure in the car so i got some nice rim sport mounts for uh back here to hold the harnesses and all that but let's go ahead and pop this out and i'll show you what i rig up a quick trick is to use a ratcheting wrench of quarter inch size and then put that over your little allen that way you can get in there in those tight places like in between the seats because usually you can't get your little Allen in there and that speeds up the process by a ton. So below here, this is how the brackets look. I have them set up like this uh, on there. And then for the seatbelt area, I actually made 3D printed spacers underneath here to raise this up. So it would be the same overall height as this bracket here uh, for the three point. But I need another place to affix the lap belt. Um, so the anti-sub, I have a solution for that, but I think I'm going to have to move this possibly forward. So it looks like I can maybe shoot it into this hole right here. The, the problem is, you know, it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't even know why it does it, honestly. I guess it's just the way they drill these holes. They're just not spaced out the same. I guess you wouldn't, I don't know if you wouldn't have enough material or whatever, but um you can see that the holes don't always line up right i have like one right there obviously this one lines up that one lines up i got that one that lines up and you know this one lines up so it's just kind of something you have to be aware of not all of these holes are going to line up so you got to slide the bracket accordingly but i got to try to get this i guess forward and then i want to put my lap belt connections um somewhere right around here usually usually towards the back then i gotta slip my anti-sub bar underneath there let me show you the anti -sub. so here's my anti-sub belts right here uh and then this is the little bracket that the anti-submarine belts are gonna hook to so they'll go in this slot and this slot because i'm running six point if you just had five point you would uh, affix it to that little center one right there um the other brackets that i have are these VAC Motorsports ones right here. So I think I'm gonna use those for the, the side belts. Um, that's what I'm currently using for the seat belt bracket for the three point. But I'm gonna have to like, get these to where this is gonna loop through and uh, connect in. Either that or it does look like it works. It's just, it's not amazing. Um, it will kind of go on there though. And that's really all it needs. But uh, I could put eyelets on that as well, but I don't know. I think, you know, easier the better. If I can just use these little brackets, that'll be cool. So these will kind of slide under, let me show you. Bolted in, right? So we'll loosen this up and then we can throw the belt in here. Also, I got these fancy Rinscott harness guys. So those are gonna hold onto the, the harnesses, the wrap, and it'll go on the cage and just look like a super nice and clean install, which is cool, better than zip ties. Yeah, these are like a hundred bucks, but pretty damn sick. Uh, try to do it right, you know? So anyways, this is the anti-sub bar. So this thing is gonna go under the bracket. I mean, I guess technically it could even, no, it's gonna have to go under the bracket because it doesn't have enough spacing. So it's gonna have to slide under there. I'm gonna have to find a hole where it works, which looks like these ones might work, which would be kind of, kind of perfect honestly and then i can bolt that in just so i can show you guys how solid these are like these are all bolted down super super 
solid mounted. So it's very nice, this setup. It doesn't flex at all and fairly lightweight. Aluminum, aluminum. This is stainless. Uh, these are going to be stainless steel powder coated as well. And uh, yeah, then we'll have all the Schroth, Schroth harnesses or Schroth, however you want to say it. Schroth racing, Schroth racing. I don't know. Uh, here is the original like little airbag thing and occupancy sensor. So you can see I only really have uh, this, or sorry, I said airbag. Technically, it's not the airbag right here. This is for the, uh, this to blow, right? This is the retraction. What are they? Uh, this basically has a charge in it, blows, and then this will suck up in, in the case of an accident and get tighter. Those are gonna stay hooked up and whatnot, but I kinda have to figure this out. I'm hoping I can move this bracket maybe, like forward a little bit, which should work. Okay, check-in of progress, kinda what I got going. This little angle bracket right here, that's gonna be for the straps. This is gonna be for the anti-sub. It should be about two inches back from the center hole for my anti-submarine belt for the six point. This little guy right here, the screw's gonna go here. I'm gonna pop this back off. I think, yeah, because I still want to run this, I do still want to run this. I don't know. I could delete it and just literally just put a belt in there and the occupancy sensor wouldn't give me trouble or I could disable encoding. But uh, I'm going to leave that for now because technically, you know, this is still a legal, uh, street legal setup. With the, uh... And then, yeah, I'm going to run this right back to here. I could pop it off even over the back, but I want to do right there gonna get two more bolts pop that down that one's out just a little bit because of that bracket yes i'd like to have it lined up but i can't because we're we're overlapping here and it's just literally all you can do earlier i mentioned uh some 3d printed spacers these were the little spacers that i made that's uh, probably one of the first 3d printed parts i made but i just put a dial caliper on the actual like bracket itself made it the same overall height because i didn't want like random washers and this worked great good little infill on it and i put the whole right in the middle good to go so those worked out amazing okay so this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna use these eyelets um i had these from my e30 um i'm gonna have to go get some hardware for the other side tomorrow but that way i can use the quick connects on the harnesses and literally just do that and boom they'll be set up so the anti-submarine belt is literally gonna go on like this which is great. These little heed slots are going to work perfectly. So that is really nice. I'm literally just do that. And then boom, that's going to go up and hit my anti-sub. So now I'm basically <laughs> going to uh, tighten all this stuff up. Okay, so I went ahead and installed this. Look, the car moves when you move the seat. I can't even like, you see how much play that is? That's zero play. The, the seat flexes. So I went ahead and put the harnesses on. Looks real good with the uh, the yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. You know what I'm talking about uh, on the harnesses here. So I'll have to get these all adjusted up properly. I just kind of temporarily pull that through. And then these ones, the side belts, I need to get a nut for the end of there but i'll put a nut on there and then boom it's gonna be perfect gotta go grab one from the hardware store tomorrow and then bam go right through there you can see i moved this forward just a little bit it's still in the proper spot so still works totally fine um i do have a little bypass piece that i'll click in there so i don't get the seat belt buzzing type situation and i don't have to run the uh stock seat belt and have that like interfering but if you are running the stock seatbelt, make sure to put it through this loop so it at least gets you semi-tight. Um, if you can, get it through both. You know, I'm not trying to feed it every time, but, you know, if you did this and then latched it in, that'd be pretty good. If it's pretty close over the top, it's better than nothing. I tried getting an extension to here. It was kind of weird, though. It pulled on me a little weird, so I'm actually going to use that piece as a little temporary plug to plug it in but yeah guys that is the seat right there look at that that looks damn good if i do say so myself wave washer all right it's gonna go on here gonna put that in there put a regular washer make sure it's on installed the right way and what i mean by that is 
Mushers do have one direction, in my opinion. Uh, there's a rounded off side, usually maybe has some lettering on it, and there's the sheared off side. That is the back side, and that is the front side. So that should go just like this. It should look nice and rounded off. See, washer like that. At full tension, right, it's going to be uh, torsionally pulling on it this direction. This eyelet is not gonna spin, so we're not gonna have any movement in the belt if the car rolls over or gets into a frontal or rearward impact. So that is a big thing. Uh, yeah, so anyways, the harnesses are all installed. They look really good. I do have to just finish up the back part of this Ren Sport situation right here. Actually, it's not Ren Sport, it's a uh, Ren Scott, I should say. I don't know why I'm saying Ren Sport. Ren Sport is a Porsche thing. But Ren Scott makes these little guys right here. These are really, really clean. Um, and what it does is when you do your harnesses, you're gonna have all this excess belting. Now, a lot of people just kind of wind it up and you could do this. With zip ties, you can put a zip tie here, zip tie here, zip tie through this piece right here, and have it tucked up here pretty nicely. Or we can have it look very, very clean like this setup right here. Now, like I said, not cheap necessarily, but uh, it looks really nice. And, you know, we're going to have the harnesses come it through right there. And it's just a really, really clean looking setup and it looks like you care so i do care and i purchased these uh for the studio sr cage so yeah anyways i'm gonna go ahead and finish those up i'll kind of show you what this looks like and